الحمد للہ رب العالمین والعاقبۃ المتقین ولا عدوان الا على الظالمین وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد شیخ الاسلام ابن القیوم ابن القیوم رحمه الله تعالى wrote extensively about very beneficial matters of the heart and iman faith what causes faith to increase and what causes faith to decrease and of some of the important attributes of the mu'min of the believer and regarding some of the important attributes of the believer or one of the very important attributes of the believer is modesty is shyness and Ibn al-Qayyum rahimahullah ta'ala mention 10 very important aspects or category category categories of modesty he said it he said modesty can be categorized in 10 different categories rahimahullah ta'ala and the first he said rahmatullah alayhi he said the first is the modesty of shame this is similar to the modesty of adam alayhi salatu wasalam when he fled paradise after eating or fled in paradise after eating from the forbidden tree Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked him are you fleeing from me O Adam because of your sin and he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said no my lord rather it is out of shame that I flee from you so the first category of modesty is shame is feeling shamefulness and this is a way in which we guard our modesty then Ibn al-Qayyum rahimahullah ta'ala he mentioned the second type he said and this is the modesty that results in your realizing your shortcomings such as the modesty of the angels those who praise Allah day and night and never disobey him on the day of judgment they will say subhanaka glory be to you we did not worship you as you deserve to be worshipped this is the case of the malaika of the angels those who are perfect in their obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they feel shortcomings what about you and I that were created in toil created to struggle created to strive to come closer to Allah and be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and have and we sin during the day and the night shouldn't we be shy shouldn't we be shameful shouldn't we have modesty due to our shortcomings and due to our shamefulness we are the ones who the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said kullu ibn adam khatta that all the children of Adam they make sins and the best of those sinners is those who repent so shouldn't we come back to Allah shouldn't we feel modesty shouldn't we feel shyness and shame for our own shortcomings when the Prophet وسلم, used to make Tawbah and Istighfar more than a hundred times a day what about us who sin during the day and the night and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from all those things which displease Him. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.